What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you guys doing today? I'm your host, as always, Andrew Two Six One Zero One Show, and I. It's about uh. Let me see. We go ahead and fix this real quick. My bad. Damn, I gotta fix my damn audio settings and shit. Want to thank everybody who's live and who's watching right now. April the eighth, twenty twenty. You probably might. Man, most of you guys will probably catch the world premiere. If you guys are watching, whoever's watching right now, pass my videos around. It's my second channel. I know, unfortunately, I can't do live streams on my original channel until possibly the end of this month. I'll be able, I'll be able to legally be out of YouTube jail, and I'll be able to go ahead and post new live stream videos on my original channel. Unfortunately, I've been trying to send the links to this channel so everybody can check me out live. But people still haven't subscribed to my second channel. Or they probably still haven't gotten a message. I don't know. Or they probably just wait till the world premiere on this on the original channel once I upload. But anyways, man, those of y'all who have subscribed past my channel rounds, my second channel. So just in case, if I'm not able uh, to actually do live streams on the first channel, you can check me on the second one. Now check this out, man. Floyd Mayweather's daughter. Ayana, and she goes by Money Yaya, I believe it was, I think that's her name. She's been arrested for felony and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. News reporters say Ayana, 19, stabbed another woman by the name of La Patra, La Patra, La Patra, La Patra, I think that's how you pronounce it, La Patra Jacobs, in a confrontation over her boyfriend, NBA young boy, 20 years old. She was arrested Saturday morning at around 1.30 a.m. And is being held in the Houston Harris's County Jail awaiting bail. Now, here's the thing, man. Um, I don't know why they said current boyfriend because I, 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 I'm assuming that they broke up. I don't know their whole situation on how they broke up or, or whatnot. But, um, you know, this, is, this has just been a crazy-ass relationship uh, to begin with. Law enforcement sources uh, told the site that Money Yaya, whose nickname, whose real name is Ayana, um, if I'm pronouncing it right, is it Ayana, 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 uh, Ayana, whatever, Yaya, Ayana, Ayana, I think that's how you pronounce it, was upset when she arrived at the rapper's home and found him there with alleged, with a, with the alleged victim, who is the mother of his child. She told Jacobs that she was young boy's fiance and ordered Jacobs to leave who refused. Okay. So let me see this. Um, so I guess Mrs. Jacob La, La Petrea, La Petrea, La Petrea. I can't even pronounce that name. I'm going to say Mrs. Jacobs. So Mrs. Jacobs, uh, confrontation over her boyfriend and be a young boy. Okay, so I believe his money Yaya and Jacobs gotten into it. And uh, from this point forward, she arrived at the rapper's home and found him there with alleged victim who's the mother of his child. She told Jacobs that she was young boy's fiance and ordered Jacob to leave who refused. Mm. <sighs> Crime scene of Floyd Mayweather's daughter Yaya who damn near killed a girl after stabbing her over hashtag NBA young boy. I just says right here. The girl who was stabbed is in critical condition right now. Yaya has been charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Wow. Interesting. Do you think that Yaya will be serving a, a prison sentence for uh, I guess manslaughter, uh, would this be, uh, a, I don't know. I mean, she's in critical condition. Would she be charged with attempted murder? And there's a lot of people who, who speculate and saying that she should be charged with murder. I'm going to see if I can play this. Uh, I'm going to see if I can play this clip for you guys. Give me a second here. <laughs> Shout out to Queens, uh, uh, hold on, let me see if I can get your name right, I, I apologize, sweetheart, Queens, so only mo, is that, is that how you pronounce it, Queens, so only mo, shout out to you, um, 
Give me a second here. I'm going to play this on my original channel, too. This, this is kind of crazy. Hold on. Let me rewind this back. Oh, shit. Okay. The two women began arguing and ended up in the kitchen. Uh, and ya, 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 Ayana, is how you pronounce it, got in a position... I'm sorry, not a position, I apologize. Got in a possession of two knives. So she got in a possession of two knives. According to the sources, Ayana charged charged at Jacobs with one of the knives. Jacobs told police that she didn't feel the first stab. Would would but Ayana stabbed her once more with the second knife. Okay, I'm trying to read this correctly here. Jacobs was on the floor when EMTs arrived and was transported to the hospital. There's no word yet on her condition, so she's in critical condition right now. Young boy, young boy was seen being placed in handcuffs, but that was most likely a precautionary measures for what? And Ayana told officials that she was taunted into the fight she claimed jacobs pulled her hair outside before running into the kitchen and the knife was self-defense measures okay so i'm gonna play this real quick from tmz the two women i never met before in this incident which is another upheaval upheaval if i'm pronouncing that right of ayana's family in the past month i see white people be, be wording out some weird words that i just really can't pronounce right in the past months her father floyd has suffered the loss of his uncle roger which we know about and former girlfriend um joe's harris uh roger had been sick for some time while the nature of harris passing is still under investigation after she was found deceased in the car floyd has yet to publicly pub, publicity i guess well publicly publicly i guess comment on his daughter's arrest okay well obviously he's not going to talk about it due to his reputation but, uh this is kind of weird why is he getting arrested Oh, it's just a normal routine because I guess if you have a criminal record, they just have to automatically arrest you since, you know, you, you kind of link to a lot of criminal activities. Well. I don't see what NBA young boy did. Okay. Wow. Interesting. All right. So I'm going to play this video. Uh, well, actually, this um, this little clip from nino brown now nino brown had a response to young boy uh in a situation that happened i believe on an instagram tweet or something that he said about well i'm just gonna go ahead and play it man and then and then i'll go ahead and give you my honest opinions on the subject and matter this whole shit is just a mess nino brown's involved in this and mayweather should have been more involved in this it kind of seems like mayweather's not too much involved in this situation uh, maybe he's handling things legally because, you know, Mayweather is known to handle things uh, behind scenes. He doesn't like to make a scene and get himself caught up in a lot of mischief. But uh, anyways, um, well, hold on. I don't think you guys saw what. Oh, my God. I apologize. Let me go ahead and go back. Let me go ahead and show you guys something here. I don't think you guys seen this, but check this out. My bad. I didn't even change the screen. But this, this right here is the bloody mess that she left stabbing that woman. Wow. Y'all can see that young boy now getting out of TMZ. TMZ always seems to catch these moments, man, when shit happens with black folks. Why is that? He always seems to catch the bad moments what happened with black folks.
they always seem to catch those those wonderful Kodak moments. But check this out. I'm gonna play Nino Brown's response into this situation on how I don't know how the hell he got involved in this, but somehow uh, he's upset with NBA Young Boy in this situation, and he's defending the Mayweather's family name. But I'm gonna tell you why I agree with him and why I disagree with him at the same time. Well, let's go ahead and play this. Now watch, I'm gonna marry your bald head ass mama. I'm gonna put a ring, I'm gonna get her this ring, bitch. I'm gonna marry your motherfucking raggedy ass mama, and I'm gonna beat your ass legally. I'm gonna take my belt, with my motherfucking belt? Huh? Where my motherfucking I took that personal- Yo, by the way, people keep saying I look like this guy, you know what I'm saying? Cause he look like the dream, and I look like him, and we all look alike, and all that type of shit, cause we all in the family. Even though I do live in the state of Florida, and so does he, we are not related. I promise you that. Because I'm going through the situation myself, so I felt like, I, I, at that point, I clicked out of Nino and went into a father mode and say, man, f*** that. Uncle Nino got to step in. If Florida ain't going to step in, I'm going to step in. You feel me? Because that's some f***ing Yeah. They say they didn't comment on the line. Let me see. Hold up. I'm looking for the I'm, I'm going to find you. I swear to God, I'm going to find NBA young boy. Listen, man, I'm going to tell you right, mother it ain't what you want, bro. It ain't what you want. I will spend the rest of my life until we get that one-on-one. -on -one. This person said you're about to get a lot of NBA young boy op supporters. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't want no security. Uh, I know how y'all rap. Y'all hide behind security. Y'all bodyguard gangsters and shit. I don't want no security. It's me and you, nigga. Let me tell you something. I want you to think about something, right? Like, think about Floyd Mayweather. He got all this money. You done brought your daughter around. You done brought all your kids around. You done seen your lifestyle. You done presented what a real man posed to present them in life. Mm. And they gonna choose a screw of like NBA young boy. You know what? He's gotta prove. He got a he got a solid, solid, solid. You see, one thing I like about Nino, right? And these are the things I dislike about Nino. Nino has certain ways to him which I really dislike. And he has certain ways to him that I absolutely love. When he starts to really preach, because that's how I do. I speak with a lot of logic. And I speak with a lot of wisdom. And he also has that logic and wisdom too. But there are also some times that he do be kind of clout chasing. You know, he kind of do a little bit of extra shit too. Just to try to get the people's attention. But listen, man. He's going to get more into um more into what he wants to do when he sees NBA young boy. Now, me personally, I don't think that's the right approach you need to do when it comes down to NBA young boy. The first thing you don't want to do is say, "I'm going to beat your ass. If that was my daughter, I will beat your ass." Like like listen, normally in every parent household when it comes down to fatherhood, yes, you got to protect your kids and yes, you will have that type of stern way to you because you, in the back of your mind Ain't no nigga supposed to put their hands on your daughter or put your daughter through some sort of trials, terms, and situations like this. But we also got to look at like life like this as fathers, too. We also got to look at life like this as fathers, too. A lot of us don't want to put our minds in this image that possibly our daughter could be on some whole shit. We don't. But back in them days when we used to play around with hoes, we found somebody that we actually laid up with. And we, 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 we left the player, we left the player, um, lifestyle alone. Then we, we meet the good woman and we have married and we have, we get married and we have kids, right? That's usually how the story goes. But you got to understand when you were that age, you was doing some shit like that too with hoes. You were disrespecting women and all that. Listen, it comes with the territory. We can't lie. These are the lives that a lot of these men live. So now that you have daughters, now that you're raising daughters now, all that all that disrespect and this is not me caping to women whatsoever but this is just what i see fellas we gotta keep it real the moment that you end up having girls in your life as daughters the same bitches that you played and you disrespected in the past that shit comes back to you through your children and that shit is not cool and you start to think to yourself well damn I was just like this nigga when I was his age and I dogged out women. This is why a lot of men are protective of their daughters because we know how we could be. But this is the situation that's not going to help in the matter. 
we got to change within us as people. Shout out to you guys. It's in the building. Daryl says, fuel to the fire. Let Floyd handle his own business. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I do. I mean, I honestly do that. think that Floyd should be handling his own business. But the words of wisdom of what Nino Brown was talking about, you can't justify that and say that's not logic because he's speaking a lot of truth. But at the same time, this part right here was a little bit too extra. He was a little bit too extra. What he should have done is like he should have hit the DM up with, with, with NBA young boy. Say, yo, what's up, bro? Hey, listen, man, let me talk to you for a second, man. Yo, can I holler at you real quick? And then talk to him like a grown man. Just be like, hey, listen, man. Hey, listen, blood. Listen, we got to talk, man. Like, yo, what, what you what you doing with y'all? Y'all is not cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't talk to these young men like... Like you bullies and shit. Like you, like you, like you're about to put the pressure on them, or you trying to g check them and stuff like that. Cause as a man, you know what I'm saying, and him being from the streets, his only definitive uh, statement is physical. You know, you should know it of all people. You from the streets too. Most niggas is not about want to talk around. Like once you start to get on that level, once you start to get on that um that physical altercation level, that you want to do something physical to him, it no longer becomes a conversation. And this is where NBA Youngboy was wrong. But when he starts to talk with some logic in this part, he actually made sense. This is why I was rooting for him. Let's go ahead and play. Me, you, Besides all this shit. Let me tell you something. I want you to think about something, right? Like, think about Floyd Mayweather. He got all this money. You done brought your daughter around. You done brought all your kids around. You done seen your lifestyle. You done presented what a real man posed to present them in life. And they gonna choose a screw of like NBA young boy. And then when they get old enough, you just let them go because you let them find their own way. And really and truly, they don't know. Cause I mean, I give them credit where credit is due. And I'm gonna be real with you. In, in my personal opinion on NBA a young boy everybody could feel different about it but i've always thought that just seeing the charges the domestic abuse and all the time he's going in and out of jail and getting and getting in trouble um related to women and what he did to his ex-girlfriend that alone tells me right there that he's not a representative of a person that you would want to be around your daughter or want to have as a boyfriend around your daughter and and listen Yaya is a grown ass woman too. She should be making her decisions based on the type of man that she she knows that she shouldn't be around with either. You know, and I understand what Nino's saying that Yaya should be going out with a man who's like Mayweather, who's dedicated, who's focused, was 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 doing the right thing and and he wasn't in no gangs or nothing like that. You know, Mayweather was a boxer who got into sports and he did his own thing, but you also got to understand also too they're saying that, well, Yaya could do better. She could be with somebody better. She could be with an athlete, a basketball player who has money, if it has to be money. But listen, maybe she's just one of those people that was just into those type of men. You got to understand, and we got to keep it real. Certain women, and particularly black women, like certain type of black men, you know? And that's the type of black man she's into. She's into the thuggish, don't give a fuck attitude feel i mean you said it alone and i'm gonna keep on continue playing this though but he was talking about how mayweather needs to be more involved in her life and not saying that he wasn't but all his life he was so dedicated to his craft so dedicated to boxing so dedicated to doing his stuff in the ring that he forgot the whole fatherhood of being a father and being a protector and also showing your daughter knowledge and wisdom on how you became a better person i understand that part you know and mayweather was just there to shower her with gifts and it doesn't take a father. You need more than you need discipline. You got to discipline your kids. That's the problem. She's grew up from royalty. Yaya money is not from the streets. Yaya money was born into royalty. She's spoiled. So when she can't get what she doesn't want, or I should say when she can't get what she can't get, she results into this. A person that's out of control. This is a form of jealousy. This woman did not... This woman went too crazy in trying to stab this woman out of jealousy. But at the same time, NBA Youngboy has a lot to blame for it too. Because he's an instigator. 
We know that. He's got too many problems with women, man. It's too many a track record, but just the way you're going at him for my first, saying you want to meet him, and then, oh, I'll beat you, I'll slap the shit out of you, I'm going to marry your mama, then I'm going to slap the shit out of you. <laughs> As it's like, I'm going to be your daddy in a way. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I thought it was quite funny, but at the same way, at the same time, it was disrespectful, but how many times young NBA young boys done some disrespectful shit? So I'm kind of like in the middle of this a little bit. But as far as uh, Yaya goes, do you guys think that she should get special treatment for stabbing this woman because she's a boxer's daughter? Or should she be trialed like everybody else? Which most likely she's probably going to get a pass, man, because, you know, money talks, right? Anyways, let's keep playing. Don't wait, and really and truly they don't know, cause really you spent your whole life on the road. You've been fighting. You ain't really had no real time to train and raise your daughter the right way. Cause you've been training your life. You trying to fight for the bag. You getting your money. You giving her the best life she never had. But really and truly, she needed a father figure. Mm. But we ain't gonna even blame you, cause I'm finna get at this little nigga and see the real. Yeah, you see. He's right about that. Nino Brown is... I'm about to say Nino... Whatever. Nino Brown is absolutely correct on that. And I believe in that too. All this time, Mayweather was on the road and he was training. He was, he was working hard. But he was providing a better living for his kids and for himself. His kids are straight and set for life. For life. For life. Okay? Mayweather is worth over a billion dollars. Them kids are set for life. For their generations, generations, generations generations to come you know what i'm saying depending on how uh depending on how well the these kids uh grow up the right way and know how to handle the money the right way it seems like to me i don't know but it, it, it seems to me that you know i don't hear too much drama coming from the sons though you know the boys Is, doesn't mayweather have two boys is he have two boys or two girls or something like that? he's got a lot of kids though different marriage different people and shit like that but he's got a couple of boys right i'm pretty sure he has a son too and the boy he seems to be on track he seems to be doing the right thing he seems he seems like the man that's going to be either going to father not father but he's going to follow his father's footsteps the light-skinned kid he seems like he's on the right track he seems like he might probably get into boxing or do something behind scenes or something with entertainment where he's going to get his own bag that's what you're supposed to do because celebrity fathers and parents really don't want like sharing their mother with money with their kids as you think they do they really don't they want their kids to get their own bag because they're addicted to, to success they, they have windows of opportunities, which is easy for them to make it to where they need to be just because of the household name, Mayweather. Once you have the last name, Mayweather, you can get far. Trust me. That's just how it is in this business. If you don't make a name for yourself, or I should say don't want to make a name, but if you haven't made a name for yourself and, you know, you, you haven't had anybody that fathered you in or mothered you in or anybody as part of the industry, um, you're gonna have to make it on your own or, or find a way or know somebody to make it. That's just how it is. So NBA young boy responded says, You 50 year old punk bitch. <laughs> I can't put my kids I can't put on what my kids you you want see me mind your business whole ass nigga. Okay, I was trying to read that. Okay. It's a little bit crazy grammar there, but okay, it says Needle Brown on the bottom three oh five at NBA Young Boy, shut your bitch ass up nigga i'm i'm your mama age i'm gonna marry her and make my stepson make you my stepson okay such your little bitch ass up my little nigga okay i'm gonna marry your mom i'm your mama's age i'm gonna marry your mom make you my stepson so i can whoop your ass i i don't think he said anything wrong with that but at the same time you know I think he should have came at him a little different besides making the video, but I, I don't know. But anyways, let's keep on playing. The reason I'm stepping in on this as the whistleblower and as Uncle Nino, because I just called Floyd to talk about this situation, and he ain't picking up his phone. Ooh. I got a problem with it, because see, I'm going to tell you something, right? I got daughters. I got three daughters, and I'm sitting here thinking about it. Okay, see, here's the thing that confuses me about Nino Brown. Here's the thing that throws me off about Nino Brown, man. And I be thinking to myself, is this nigga clout chasing or is he speaking facts? He's speaking facts, but minus the clout chasing. What I mean by the clout chasing, I'm talking about the actual image. 
Like, why the fuck do you gotta present this message with an AK-47 in your hand? Just look at this shit, man. This dude right here got an AK-47 in his motherfucking hand. Now, if you're gonna talk to a youngster, and you, you can't talk to Mayweather about father-ish, or you got some issues going on where you want to talk to him about it or, you know, talk about the situation, how messed up it is. I understand it. if you're close to Mayweather like that, you know, I understand that. But why want to talk this message? Why you got a gun in your hand? Like, what type of representation is that? You supposed to be somebody older. You ain't supposed to be showing off guns, man. Come on, man. Not even NBA Youngboy do, does that shit. Maybe the goons around him do, but at the same time, you would expect something like this from NBA Youngboy. So just imagine NBA Youngboy is listening to Nino Brown speaking on this, and this man has an AK-47 talking about, I want to marry your mama, whip your ass, but then he starts talking shit with the gun in his hand. Come on, man. That's not a good representation there, Nino Brown. I understand the words are coming out of your mouth, but they're not matching with your actions. They're not matching with your actions. You can't do shit like that. So, of course, a person like NBA Youngboy's go look at you like, sit your old ass, bitch ass, punk ass down. <laughs> Want to see my mind? Mind your own business, ho ass nigga. So in this point, you know, you can't really blame NBA Youngboy for a retaliating at him. Because if you really want to talk to him on some grown man shit, you don't got to do this extra shit. You should have hit him up in the DMs. I'm pretty sure you would have hit you back. And you would have talked to him like on some real cool shit. Like, y'all could sit back and have a smoke. You don't know what's going on in this man's mind. You don't know what the hell he's been through. Of course, men mental awareness runs in his family. And it probably also runs in money yaya. Because for her to want to pick up a knife and stab her ex-girlfriend or a new girlfriend or whatever girlfriend that belongs to NBA Youngboy. I can't keep up with all these girlfriends or baby mama, I should say. That lets you know right there, that's a mental problem. She's got issues. She's got motherfucking issues to do something heinous like that. To go to that extent, NBA Youngboy don't want your ass. He mind fucked you. You got fucked over. That's what he does to women. Okay? Let's just face it. He's young. And that's just his lifestyle. But listen. These are the type of men that most of these women are attracted to. Young boy has a history. A bad history with women. Okay. Everybody knows that. Mayweather should have known this too. You know, proud at the White House. Yeah. But listen, man. We all know that Mayweather, and, and absolutely right, I agree with Nino is saying. He's too focused. He was focused on his career when he was raising his kids. But he had his kids by taking care of them financially. But if you're not mentally there for your kids, you got to have a mental stability, fathers. Those of y'all who are fathers out there, it's not about just buying your kids shit. You can buy your kids everything in the world. But if you don't give them some sort of adolescence or sit down with them and have talks, like parents would and sit down and 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 have conversations with your kids get to get getting your kids lives this is what happens with your kids your kids end up spoiled and they end up getting crazy over shit that they know they have no control over over because they're so used to getting everything they want and yaya seems like the type of chick that's real spoiled and she's used to getting everything that she wants so when she can't get and be a young boy she results into doing crazy shit does she belong in jail? Yeah. Uh, she tried to kill somebody. She should be doing some years. Most likely because the regular black person, let's just be keep let's just keep it real, folks. The regular black person who does crimes like this ain't gonna see no no light anytime soon. Yeah, your ass is gonna be in jail for a minute. Phone. I got a problem with it. Cause see, I'm gonna tell you something, right? I got daughters. I got three daughters, and I'm sitting here thinking about it, right? Like, if a nigga tried me, it's okay. If I done raised my daughter the right way, and she want to go get with an NBA young boy, or uh, somebody who got herpes and the bump mushroom tip or something like that, <laughs> then she can have you because she grown. That's her decision. But the minute this nigga get on the video and say, yo, bitch ass dad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Nino Brown's right. I mean, listen. You can't really stop a chick named Yaya from wanting to chase after a nigga who sleep around with a 
thousand odd women and that got herpes and shit and you still chasing after the nigga who's got a domestic violence case on him i don't want to what, what is up with our black women man what is up with her what what is up with this shit yo this nigga got a rap sheet no i literally rap sheet i know he's a rapper but he's got a rap sheet like this dude's done a lot of crazy shit but yet still you got some of these women that are thriving over that 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 bad negative aura gangster pill they love that shit maybe she's never gotten her ass whooped when she was a kid she want that daddy why she why you think she's looking for a nigga like nba young boy because she want a nigga like him to beat her ass it's crazy as it is but she might have mental issues which she does i mean it wouldn't why would somebody take the time out go all the way to houston just to go stab somebody See, I listen. I'm not for yah yah, cause I don't believe in domestic violence. I don't believe in any type of violence of that type of any type of violence. Period. For you to do that, especially over some like, listen, man, I could understand if it was somebody that killed somebody close to you, and you had those goals for revenge. But you stabbing somebody over an NBA young boy. You stabbing somebody over a nigga who don't want you, over a nigga who got herpes. This shit is crazy. Like, if a nigga tried me, it's okay. If I done raised my daughter the right way and she want to go get with an NBA young boy or somebody who got herpes and the bump mushroom tip or something like that, then she can have you because she grown. That's her decision. But the minute this nigga get on the video and say, yo, bitch ass daddy. Fuck your bitch ass daddy. I ain't never did. I don't want nothing. And she sit there and accept that. And she sit next to this nigga. And I don't want to change your diaper. I don't want to put the bottle out your mouth. I don't want to put. Yo, one thing about uh, Yaya. She loves her father. She loves her father. She supported her father even through her younger years when she was watching him in the front row boxing. I mean, she loves her dad. And I think she, 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 she. She gets triggered whenever somebody talk about her, bad, her dad in any type of way. Because you got to understand, her father takes care of her, man. Emotionally. But I think, I blame Mayweather too. And listen, I'm not an advocate for telling people how to raise their kids and shit like that. But it's just, it's just stuff that you kind of see, man. And this is just my opinion. I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong on this. Like I said, I don't know the Mayweather's like that. I only know, I only go by what I see on TV. That's it in news articles and shit or Instagram live when I catch them on Instagram live. But to me, I don't know, man, but it, it kind of seems like Mayweather raised his child to be like a very spoiled brat, like a, a spoiled woman. Like she's a spoiled little girl that gets like she has this way to her where she feels she could do whatever she want and get whatever she want and get away with shit. And then you got NBA young boy who's just fucked up because he comes from a bad past and he's just trying to find his way in life. But, you know, he, he he's steadily trying to, like, he's trying to stay out of trouble, and he's, he's trying to do the right thing, but somehow, 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 I don't know what it is with NBA Youngboy. I don't know if it's just him. Hold on. I ain't even, hold on. Give me a second. I'm not even trying to answer this shit. See, I don't even know if it's just NBA Youngboy. Or if it's just, uh, hold on, hold on, my fault, y'all. Trying to turn this off, man. Everybody want to call me as soon as I'm doing a video, man. I hate this shit. <sighs> All right. It just seems to me, right, that, where was I anyways? It just seems to me that NBA Youngboy just seems to get himself involved with these women, man. I don't know what it is, man. I don't even know if it's the women or if it's just him. But then I'm looking at it like I'm seeing like, damn, y'all, he probably fucked with the wrong bitch. See, young boy look like he seemed like the type of nigga that go through women all the time, man. He go through a lot of women and we young. We used to do that shit when we were younger too. We smash bitches, we fuck bitches, we pass them around and all that other shit. That's what you do when you're young, you know what I mean? Because he's still young. He's young. He's stu he, you're not saying he's stupid, but he's just young. He's immature and he don't know no better. He's not stupid. He's just he's just mentally disturbed, bro. You could tell he's a me he's not mentally right. NBA young boy's not mentally right, but he seems like he's trying to get there. Like he's trying to get the guidance that he need. 
But coming from Nino Brown, man, like, I think you could have done it a little bit better in reaching out to the young man. That's what I'm saying. I mean, this shit is all fucked up right now. So, I mean, we can't just be pointing fingers at this person, that person for starting this, for making this person do this. At the end of the day, a woman took a knife. And she's a woman now because she's grown. She took a knife and she stabbed another woman. Okay? So... I don't care what anybody says. The person who committed the crime and the violence right now is the person we need to put the fingers on because she didn't have to take it to that extent. Put the pacifier in your mouth. Out there. Pay for everything you got gave you the new G Wag here. Mm. And you act like you don't know me next to this straw bag, nigga. The first thing I'm going to go do, I'm going to go over there and holler at that young nigga first. I'm going to go holler at him first because he disrespected my name. Okay, see, I understand that with the whole disrespecting shit, but Nino Brown, you doing too extra shit, bro. You doing too extra shit. You got a gun. You got a... You, look at this nigga right here, man. You trying to give advice about what you should do in violence? What happened to, like, you know, taking a kid over... And, and talking to the holler at the man. Why you? Why you gotta show the guns, man? No, I, listen. If I was Mayweather, I wouldn't take no advice from you either. You was a clown. You was an idiot. You a grown ass man with a with a with a goddamn Draco in your hand. Come on, man. Got some Fisher Price. Come look at this shit. This shit look like it's made from Fisher Price. This nigga got a Burger King crown on his head. I would have laughed at your stupid ass too. You were supposed to be man. You are supposed to be sitting. Man. You're supposed to be setting a better example, man. Come on, you a clown ass nigga, man. He, if I was Mayweather, you disrespect me like that. Now the stuff that he said was absolutely facts. I agree with him. That's the shit that oh, it drives me crazy with Nino Brown because he does stupid shit with his actions, but his words be good. He be speaking some good logic, but he be doing some dumb shit, and that's why niggas clown at you and motherfuckers cannot take you serious. Bro, just turn into your chat room. I'm a fan of Nino Brown. I'm a fan of Nino Brown's too. There ain't no disrespect to Nino Brown, but come on, man. If you're going to talk to a person like NBA Youngboy, you got to set the right examples. You doing everything good with the words that you're saying, but with your actions showing the gun and flashing it off, that's not smart, man. Because right now, NBA Youngboy is like, you 50-year-old punk bitch, I can put my kids on you. Won't see me mind your business, you hoe ass nigga. See, he didn't say nothing back about showing guns or nothing like that. See, what Nico Brown is doing is just absolutely childish, man. Let's keep playing. Man. Never had, but really and truly, she needed a father figure. But we ain't gonna even blame you because I'm finna get at this little nigga and see the reason I'm stepping in. Now, I don't want y'all to just think about the words that he's saying, just think about the actions. The words he's saying is great. I support everything that he's saying, but showing off the gun and trying to show off an example of what you're saying, that's a little bit different. Because now you're bringing streets involved into it. Not a good look. This is what you should have did in handling the situation. You should pull the nigga to the side. Hold on, give me a second. Damn, I got to spray this goddamn room. Anyways, man, what he should have done was, man, he should have pulled homie to the side or, talk, or hit him up in the DMs like, yo, blood, let me get your number real quick, man. I got to holler at you on some shit. I got to talk to you on a brother-brother shit. Yeah, that's it. That's all he could have done. And then, you know, take it from there. Me and on this as the whistleblower and as Uncle Nino because I just called Floyd to talk about this situation and he ain't picking up his phone. I got a problem with it because I'm going to tell you something, right? I got daughters. I got three daughters. And I'm sitting here thinking about it, right? Like, if a nigga tried me, it's okay. If I done raised my daughter the right way and she want to go get with an NBA young boy or uh, somebody who got herpes and the bump mushroom tip or something like that, then she can have you because she grown. <laughs> That's her decision. Now we do it. This nigga get on the video and say, yo, bitch ass daddy. Fuck your bitch ass daddy. I ain't never did. I don't want to. And she sit there and accept that 
And she sitting next to this nigga. And I don't want to change your diaper. I don't want to put the bottle out your mouth. I don't want to put the pacifier in your mouth. I don't got that there. Pay for everything you got. Gave you the new G wagon. And you act like you don't know me next to this straw bag nigga. The first thing I'm going to go do. I'm going to go over there and holler at that young nigga first. I'm going to go holler at him first. Because he disrespected my name. He got to see me off the ripper. I got to talk. We got something to talk about, little player. We got to, cause listen, you can take me back her all day, she grown. But when you put my name in it, you messing with my legacy. And see, I'm undefeated in the rank. I got all the money. You heard what man was just saying in the video? He got all the money in the world. Your money can't save you like this. And this got to hurt. Cause your daughter just was arrested on some dumb shit. She out there trying to stab the man, baby, and mama. Man, little mama, listen, man, you got to grow up. That man don't want you. Mm. That man playing with you. He don't care nothing about you. No, he he wouldn't have had you in that situation. And this is this is what I agree with Nino Brown. Totally, 100% agree with him. When he talks about that man don't want you. If a man wants you, he ain't going to be doing that extra shit. He's avoiding you. He even made a video about you breaking into his house. Now you ain't gonna act. So Michael Jackson shit it was actually pretty dope. <laughs> I, I, I what, what's her name? Uh, I can't I can't remember the name of the uh of the uh the name of the song, man. Y'all 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 could remind it. Y'all could rem, you know correct me on that shit, but I can't remember the name of the song. But it, it's got that Michael Jackson catchy hook to it. But he made a video about her a music video, so that kind of tells you right there what type of female she is. She's destructive. She's got issues, and I've said it before in my, one of my old videos on my original channel, well, on the channel that y'all watching right now on the premiere, but uh, I even said it, uh, I could take a look that I called it, man, like, she ain't right, she must have antagonized the situation for one of her, didn't one of her ex-boyfriends or some guy try to come at her and her business and, and try to come at her mom and, man... This girl don't seem like she don't seem right, man. I don't I, shit. I don't blame NBA Young Boy. Maybe NBA Young Boy's trying to stay away from this bitch. Because she he don't want to be around a chick like this. Cause it would ruin his career. But Nino Brown forget forget to understand that hoes are fucking crazy, man. He forgot to understand, so you can't just be hollering at the nigga and get mad at him. And want to do something to him. He wasn't the one that picked up the knife and stabbed somebody. Come on, man. You, you, you know, you got to get some act right, man. And that's just stupid with the whole guns and shit. If I was Mayweather, I wouldn't even answer your calls either, man. You goofy as fuck. You say some right things. Don't get me wrong. He, he'd be speaking some good shit. He's a very logical person when he speak down to shit, but he'd be confusing the fuck out of me with all the dumb uh, shit he'd be doing with his actions. It's like his words don't be matching with his actions, man. And that shit confused the shit out of me, Nino Brown. Get it together, man. You can't be doing shit like that. You fucking with niggas' heads, bro. Because niggas, people talk, they, they come, man, come on. They point you out for being a clown, man. You can't be doing dumb shit like that. Come on, man. Say the right stuff, what you're saying. And I absolutely agree with you. Mayweather needs to be there for his kids 100%. He was just there showering them with money, but he wasn't there for them emotionally as a father, at least that's what we assume. I don't know. We could be wrong. Maybe the the the, the bitch is just crazy. The, the the daughter maybe has uh mental awareness, mental issues. You never know. Maybe she does. Maybe she needs to be checked in. She's she's fucked up. Because for her to, to drive to be driven this crazy, that wild to do something crazy like that, that ain't right. Something ain't right with that baby girl. He got you on his sideline for purposes of, man, I got Mayweather daughter. He trying, he don't care nothing about you, little mama. You look like you drugged up. You look like you coked up. Yeah, I'm not even going to lie to you. Look at, look at, yo. Yo, I, yo, shout out to Nino, man. You be saying some dumb shit, but you be making some sense. Look at this bitch. This bitch look coked the fuck out, though. She look like she drugged up. She don't look right, man. She hang out with this nigga too much, man. That's what it is. This nigga has a way of destroying your mind when you a female. He'll get you involved in this lifestyle. Get you fucked up in the game. And guess what? He dips out and he leaves you there. And that's the kind of energy that I'm getting from young boy. 
That's the type of nigga he is. But she, she thought she could handle Young Boy, but Young Boy handled her ass. Young Boy's a pimp in this game, man. He don't want this girl. He never did. He used her for bragging rights, man. Of course that was uppering up his career. Come on, man. Ain't nobody was checking out for Young Boy that much. Until he got with Yaya. Yaya was pulling some strings too in the background to help this nigga's career out when she should be helping hers. But at the end of the day, she got played and this is what it is. Mentally, she's damaged. This is what you call a damaged woman who's fucked up, who chase after the wrong dudes, chase after the bad boys. And maybe she wasn't properly taught like that. Maybe she's just spoiled and she lives in a different world compared to us. And she feels she could control everything, but she can't control and be a young boy. And I guarantee you the reason why she stabbed his girl. Well, I don't know if his baby mama's ex or one of those is. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's one of those. Who knows these days, man? But listen, only reason why she did that was because it was an act of jealousy. We all know that. And she's still in love with this dude. Listen, man, you got to grow up. That man don't want you. That man playing with you, he don't care nothing about you. He wanna had you in that situation. He got you on his sideline for purposes of, man, I got Mayweather daughter. He trying, he don't care nothing about you, little mama. You look like you drugged up, you look like you coked up. I just say in the video, and it pissed me off. Cause I got three daughters, and if I ever came home and found out that they were messing with one of these knucklehead nigga, why, why, with they pants hanging off their ass, chewing they boxes, this is, this is homo shit, man. If you walk around with your pants like that, that's homo shit. That's shit we did in jail, cause we ain't had no belt. That's not gangster, cuz. Pull your damn pants, pull my pants up. Listen, man, Mayweather, it's time for you to step in. Put your money down, bro. Step in. Yeah, man, that hanging pants shit is mad gay, though. That shit is mad homo. I'm so tired of seeing young niggas like that and shit. Now, I don't mind. Yo, shout out to Queen. Shout out to um Daryl. Shout out to Ghost Ghost in the building. Shout out to everybody who's watching right now. Listen, man, I don't like that gay shit, man. I'm so tired of black, young black men with their pants down, man. I got bony, skinny ass, malnutrition ass niggas, man. And you know, that's the thing. That's the new shit right now. Bitches that are thick with bony ass niggas, man. I never understand this shit. I was I asked one of my homegirls, she a black shorty, and I she a black female. So I asked her, what is up with y'all females? See, I never refer to her, you know, as what's up with you bitches doing that. Cause the moment I say bitch, she start going crazy. We all know black women don't like that word. So I can't talk to her like that. So I said, yo, listen, man. She a homie though. She cool. So I say, listen, yo, what's up with what's up with black females always getting um uh, mad? Um you know, ah, damn it. Ah, I lost my train of thing. You know, you ever had a brain fart in this motherfucker? Like, your, your brain just, you, you knew what you was going to say, but the shit just came out. I done fucked up, man. Y'all got to remind me. I think I smoked too much. But listen, the reason, the, <laughs> the point of the matter is this, man. Mayweather's daughter, Yaya, hasn't been properly trained in that factor on you know, making the right decisions and who she's dating. You know what I mean? So in that case, it matter. You know, you, you really can't blame her for, I guess, going for a certain type of men that she, well, in a way, uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's so iffy, man. Cause it, it seems like she has a mental disorder. Like she's fucked up in the head, man. For somebody to go to this extent and want to stab somebody over for NBA young boy or over NBA young boy, come on, man. It has to be deeper than that, man. Is it because she said something about your daddy? That got you pissed off? But then I don't even think that's the reason why you would go over there and just stab a bitch. Like, shit don't, shit don't make no sense, man. This is just crazy. This is insane. See, I understand the message that Nino is saying. But the actions, ugh. I don't like that whole gun shit, man. That's just wrong. That's just a wrong way of putting shit out, man. You're just putting out that that negative energy. But I understand the whole pants down shit. Man, some of you young niggas need to stop with that shit. Oh, yeah, that's why I was... Now I remember... I don't remember what I was talking about. You bony ass niggas be wearing them size 6 jeans that my girl could wear or anybody female could wear and shit. Niggas is wearing size 6 jeans. 
and they know they are, they're they're uh, a size 22 by 28 or size 27 by 28 man or maybe they're wearing the rare maybe they're wearing the size jeans that they're supposed to be because they bony as shit man pull your pants up man why hang it all the way down that shit is crazy, and he's absolutely right. We did that in prison, like he said. Not me. I ain't never been to that motherfucker. But he, I guess he has. You know, maybe hey, he can tell you <laughs> graphically what happened over there in prison. <laughs> I don't know. That's not my business. Hey, if you been down and get some, you know, bubbly shit, you know what I'm saying? Or you got some cotton candy and shit, and you have some nigga go, Mwah. who knows? That's on him. Shit. You know what I mean? You know these jail niggas, man. You know black women. You know them jail niggas. Come on. A lot of y'all be lusting after. The same dudes you trying to bring home from jail. Cook them a nice sandwich. You know, get him some SpaghettiOs. Put it right in the microwave. Cook it up for him, man. He's old. He ain't got to eat no jail food no more. He gets some good ass pussy. And then we start beating the shit out of you again, man. Then you call the cops. He fucked up, man. He can't separate prison from lifestyle. Maybe he just go dog the shit out of you. Got fucked by some nigga in jail and he passed around the shit. Listen. Some of us just ain't taught better, man. And some of us deserve exactly what we ask for. That's all I'm saying. You know. You know what's wrong. You know when nigga got herpes too, man. Come on, y'all, y'all. That nigga got herpes, man. Oh, it's just a rumor. It's just a rumor. Okay, all right. Let's just say it's a rumor. But all the allegations, the domestic violence and shit like that he caused, is that also a rumor? Shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. State y'all names, man. This is crazy, man. Let's keep on continuing this, man. Pull your pants up, man. I hate you skinny-ass, bony-ass niggas that got your pants hanging down low and you got Hulk Hogan t-shirts all the way up to your motherfucking chest and shit. Tight-ass motherfucking shirts and shit. That's why I could see your ass, because your ass is like bony as shit, man. Pull your pants up. The people I look like NBA young boy, man. Them shits is crazy, man. I'm sure I go wear skinny jeans, man. At least pull that shit up, man. Ain't nobody trying to see that ass. Homo shit, man. Holy if you shit. walk around with your pants like that, that's homo shit. That shit we did in jail, because we ain't had no belt. That's not gangsta, cuz. Yeah, that's true. Pull your damn pants. Pull my pants up. <laughs> Listen, man, Mayweather, it's time for you to step in. Mm. Put your money down, bro. Step in as a father. Mm. And holler at your daughter. Look, little mama, little yaya. You can't mess with him no more. I don't care. Listen, if you go back around him, don't even claim me as your daddy. Change your last name because you ain't no kin to me. Because this ain't what I taught you. Ooh. Don't talk about my child, bitch. Because guess what? That's a grown ass little man over there. Okay, so here comes the ratchet ass NBA young boy mother. Don't you see the resemblance? On where he came from and how he was raised. She don't know no better either. Look where she from. She from the gut, the, 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 the hood. Don't be talking about my baby no more. Don't be talking about my baby no more. I'm trying, I can't even dumb down my grandma. I dumb down my, don't be talking about my baby no more. Mm -hmm. Don't be talking about my baby no more. Don't be talking about my baby. Don't be talking about my baby. Okay, let's go ahead and play. And change your last name because you ain't no kin to me. Because this ain't what I taught you. Don't talk about my child, bitch. The first thing she says, don't talk about my child, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Don't, don't talk about my child, bitch. Listen, man. She's just as wrong. He's just as wrong. Listen, man, this whole shit is a clusterfuck, man. It seemed to me like maybe he's trying to clout chase, but at the same time, he's speaking truth. But he's just doing it in the wrong way. You doing it on some attack mode shit. There's some shit that should be off cameras. I don't even know why this is on Instagram and why everybody got it, but God damn it, this is entertainment besides somebody getting stabbed because I don't like that shit. So don't come on here with you trolls thinking I'm away for that shit. I'm just, besides the person getting hurt because that's when the shit got too far. All that, besides that shit, everything else is fucking comical as shit. You know what I'm saying? The shit don't make no sense. What Nino Brown is saying, I totally agree with him. But at the same time, those actions by showing the guns and the, and the, the, what, the what is the Ruger he got? I don't know if it's like a mini AK-47 or you got a Ruger. It looked like a Ruger and shit. No, not, not the Ruger. Um, not the Ruger, the Ruger. It looks like a, uh, the Draco. My bad. Nah, the Ruger is different. It looks like a fucking Draco. 
like a mini AK-47 Draco and shit. Motherfucker looked like he had a toy Draco and shit, like one of those lighters. I bet you that shit was a toy-ass, fake-ass gun. Come on, man. We shouldn't be putting this type of... This is not how we teach our kids, man. You know, if you want to be a grown man, you want to be on a father figure shit, man, you got to you gotta do it a different way, man. You can't be doing that. And I can understand this woman for, you know, the first thing she said, listen here, bitch. I, listen, I can understand that. That's emotions. Most women do get emotional and they get mad when it comes down to certain situations like this, especially if you're talking about somebody's son. So I can understand why she would get mad. You can't really blame her, but at the same time, she should have handled it differently in a different way, more of a mature way, instead of, you know, resulting into this mess, because it seems like he's cloud chasing for views by doing this extra shit, by giving good advice, and it seems like you're doing shit for views by acting ignorant and, and going hard on a nigga, and he's just as ignorant too by showing off the gun, you know what I'm saying, they, they both... Both sides is fucking uh, uh, fucking wrong, bro. So far, that's what I'm getting from this shit. But let's keep on playing. Hey, what I taught you. Don't talk about my child, bitch. Because guess what? That's a grown-ass little man over there. That's a grown-ass man over there. And I promise you, I don't want my child running behind nobody, going look for nobody, or none of that. Don't do none of that. I don't want my child doing none of that. But I'm telling this to any motherfucking body that got breath in their motherfucking body. Ooh. Bitch, if you go at him... And if you go to him, bitch, he better let every motherfucking bullet out he got in his motherfucking gun, bitch. What in the hell? What in... Did you just hear what this black mother has said? About what her son should do. In handling a situation like this. He should go out to that motherfucker and let out every single bullet at him. Wow. Is this what we come to as black folks? So this is how we handle shit. You got a black mother. A black mother who is encouraging her son to let off every single bullet if a nigga come up to you. Instead of going to the police, we don't go to the police. No, we handle our shit in the streets. We don't go to the police. We handle our shit in the streets because that's what we do. Shout out to 13. 13, uh, Brooklyn. He says, you think something's going to happen? You think NBA young boy is going to get Nino? No. I don't think he will, but I think his goons will. Damn, well, YB got shot at. Yeah, he did. YMB did get shot at. Nino made a diss song one hour ago for YB and his mom. See, this is this is what I don't like, man. He did? See, this, this is the shit that, that's just stupid. Now, it seemed to me that Nino was clout chasing on this shit, man. Like, he says the right words, man. This is why I be telling people, man, they got to open up their eyes, man, and also listen, too, as well. This guy is not a good representation for... Somebody who's supposed to be giving good advice. To me, it seemed like he clout chasing. That's what I'm getting because Nino do all this extra bullshit, man. He got a gun. He got a gun trying to give out wisdom and, and saying truth. But you got a gun in your hand, man. Come on, man. You got a gun in your hand, man. What type of message is you supposed to be sending? If you didn't have all the extra shit and all the guns. But you talking about you want to marry the nigga mom. And so I could be your father and beat your ass, which was funny. I ain't taking that away from nobody, but that, but that was comical and, and you know, that was funny. But the nigga do need his ass whooped because he needs a father figure in his life. Two things that people, th these are two people, two people that I think that have the same type of qualities. Okay, minus uh, the hard lock. 
the hard life of in the hood, in the streets, is Yaya and NBA. The reason why I think them two really got along with each other is because they both didn't have their fathers in their lives. Think about it. NBA young boy's father probably wasn't there physically. I'm, I don't know too much about the kid, but I think his father died at a young age or something like that. He may not have his father there physically. Yaya had, his, had her father there physically, but he wasn't there mentally. He wasn't there during the times, at least that's what I'm getting, while she was growing up. Because he was so focused and driven on his career and trying to create a lifestyle for himself. And also so his lifestyle can reflect on his children. So they can have the opportunities like he didn't have. I get that. But as a father too, it's hard. This is where you kind of need the mom. This is where you need that nurturing essence of a woman. This is where, this is where you need like a real mother figure to step in and, and, and say things to you and tell you what's going on with your daughter. You need to talk to your daughter. You know what I'm saying? We don't have too many moms that are like that or women that are like that. Hey, you better, you better behave. Or I'm going to go to your father. You know what I'm saying? Because the father is supposed to put the fear in children. You know, everybody's supposed to be scared of their father. The moment you ain't scared of your father, that's when you start to lose respect. When you fear your father, you have respect. It's just a formality. It's just how it has always been. But let's keep on playing this, man. It's just, they both got mental issues, man. And it's sad because they're all fucked up. They're all kids, man. They're kids and they don't know no better. And, you know, it's just fucked up that, you know, the parents are just not really involved in their kid's life out of solid ground everybody's kind of like all over the place and doing their own thing it's just remind me of some loving hip-hop where you know one nigga's after another bitch and then look look at mayweather for instance man what type of example is that he's got kids and he's running after women after women after women after women after women after women he keeps seeing different types of women now i'm not saying his love life shouldn't really affect his parenthood with his kids but in a way you really got to understand man that psychologically could do something to kids man you know, so I'm not saying the daughter's like that, but you know, it's just, uh, uh, I don't know, man. It seems to me that she was deeply, deeply invested in NBA young boy. And she felt hard for this nigga. You can tell because for her to outlash and do what she did to that extent kind of proves to me that she really, really, really fell for this dude name because you ain't no kin to me because this ain't what i taught you let me talk about my child bitch because guess what that's a grown-ass little man over there that's a grown-ass man over there and i promise you i don't want my child running behind nobody going look for nobody or none of that don't do none of that i don't want my child doing none of that but i'm telling this okay. to in their motherfucking body they got breath in their motherfucking body bitch if you go at him and if you go to him Bitch, he better let every motherfucking bullet out he got in his motherfucking gun, bitch. And he better reload it and let that... She big mad at, at me. I'm in the doghouse. I'm buying flowers at McDonald's for her. Oh, wow. See? Yeah, you see? <sighs> Nino's trying to make this into a joke. But at the same time, man, this can get really ugly really fast. And it may not be a joke. You know what I'm saying? Because... This is people's lives we're playing with here, man. It's nothing to really joke around about it. And Nino needs to stop instigating shit. Because I don't think he tried to call Mayweather at all. I think he's just doing this for clout. I really think that's just clout chasing that Nino's doing. But at the same time, you know, NBA young boy's mother should have handled it a little bit better. Instead of coming after, um, you know, I understand that she's mad and she's upset. And she's telling her son, don't do nothing, don't do nothing. But if somebody comes after you, he's going to let off every single bullet in there. I had to re-listen to this again. Sometimes I have a second train of thought. And I can understand how she feels going through that. Because if somebody's going to threaten your son, you got to do what you got to do as a mother to protect your, your, your child. Same thing as a father would do to protect his child. But this shit right here is kind of ugly. This is when... You know, Mayweather should be reaching out to NBA Youngboy's mother so that way they can have a talk and get these two together and sit down and that way they can talk. And then y'all got to be like, yo, y'all got to squash this shit. And you got to tell your daughter like straight up if, if NBA, you just, I would, I would have got the mother in the room or whatever. I'm like, hey, listen, 
I want to have a talk. We're going to talk calmly. I don't want to have any problems, nothing like that, blah, blah, blah. But listen, Nino Brown is right in a way, man. I wouldn't want my daughter around a nigga named NBA Youngboy. Knowing that the fact that he's a rap sheet, he's got a lot of fucking problems. The dude had a, a herpes, uh, that's what they would say. Dude looked like an abomination, man. He looked like that he's fucked up, man. He comes from a really hard life. You can tell he's he, he, he comes from some fucked up shit, man. He ain't right. So, you know, it's just a sad situation, man. It's just a sad situation on both angles. But this shit right here, she big mad at me. I'm in the doghouse. I'm buying flowers at McDonald's for her. Like, come on, man. And bitch out again. Bitch, you fucking go looking for trouble, bitch. You get it. Okay, bitch, you looking for trouble, bitch. You get it. See, this is what I'm talking about right here, man. Come on. Black women, man, y'all gotta raise y'all, y'all gotta raise y'all kids better, man. Y'all can't be doing this shit, man. I know he's had a hard life, but at the same time, this is a product of our environment, folks. You could tell right now, just looking for looking at her, you could tell she's had some failed, fucked up relationships, man. She probably the same type of female that we all don't want to admit it. You know, some of us may have that in our families, but we don't want to admit it. But she's the typical ones that chase after Ray Ray and Pookie, trying to lock down a Ray Ray and Pookie. And when she, you know, she ends up having a child by Ray Ray and Pookie, Pookie gone. So your little Ray Ray that you're raising up is acting like Pookie, your ex man. So he's just a descendant of what you, with the man you were trying to chase. See, women don't understand, man. You got to be raising up the type of men who dogged you out in the first place. It's just a never-ending cycle of our beloved black community. Some may like me for saying this. Some may hate me for saying this, but we got to be real. We got some fucked up issues. This could have, this just went so left and it could have went so right. If they only were to just take the shit off mainstream media and talk like some adults. Or hit each other up in the DMs. Shit didn't have to go this far. But now it's like, it's a worldwide thing, man. This is quarantine. And it just seems like entertainment is at its fullest on this social media shit. What, what the fuck, man? This is crazy. Aren't, aren't people supposed to be quarantining? Why the hell are they trying to meet up with each other and shit? This shit don't make no sense. Fuck you think. Oh, big ass can't threaten nobody. Fuck you think. Bitch, you making me feel pain. You wanna fuck me, bitch. This right now. How many times did she say bitch? <laughs> Hold on, let me rewind that back. I'm gonna let this shit play, man. I'm gonna let this shit play. And, and, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna count. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a count on how many times this woman said the word bitch. Let's go. One, two, three. Hey, what I taught you. I'm talking about my child, bitch. Because guess what? That's a grown ass little man over there. That's a grown ass man over there. And I promise you, I don't want my child running behind nobody, going look for nobody, or none of that. Don't do none of that. I don't want my child doing none of that. But I'm telling this to any motherfucking body that got breath in their motherfucking body. Bitch, if you go at him, and if you go to him, bitch, he better let every motherfucking bullet out he got in his motherfucking gun, bitch. And he better reload it and let that bitch out again. Bitch, you fucking go looking for trouble, bitch, you get it. Fuck you think. Oh big ass can't threaten nobody. Fuck you think. Bitch, you making me feel pain. You wanna fuck me, bitch. This right now. Nine times. Like this right now. You heard me? Everybody send this to Nino. You bitch ass nigga. Stop capping, nigga. You don't have capping, nigga. We got niggas waiting. Y'all see the flights? You checking the flight? See, this is kind of crazy now. This is when things get ugly. All right. Now you got the goonies involved because this has just gotten a little bit serious. You know, I could kind of tell on social media. It seems like it was for fun and games and shits and giggles. And it seems hilarious. Beach, 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 beach. That's all I heard. And I hear this Nino Brown preaching this shit, but yes, though he got a Draco in his hand. Come on, man. What you think you were trying to what what do you think you were trying to promote out there with the Draco? The first thing you you what you expect, the goons are gonna come out. 
Hey, what you you think NBA young boy ain't got killers on his play, bro? Come on, man. Why you think he protected? This motherfucker probably got cops now watching him. Cause they would listen, man. He heavy in the streets, and there's people who want to kill him. I'm not saying he can't get touched, and any nigga can get touched. But the thing about it is, he got he got security. I, me personally, I would never want to live my life knowing that the fact that I need security around me all the time. I hate that shit. I would never want to live a life like that, knowing that I need security around me all the time. That's no way to live. That is no way to live. Cause you know how much money you gotta be spending for security a year. Each day, every time you go out. But these dudes be making a lot of money when they do concerts. That's why I be saying, man, I don't think these dudes is really out there. You ain't gonna see NBA young boy on no streets like that, man. No. Because every time he goes out these doors, he's got to pay for security, man. That's expensive. He ain't trying to do that. He, the only time he paying for security is that the nigga got to go straight into his car and take a flight. And once he's overseas or at a different country, he'll be all right. He'll probably just do tours in different countries where he know he ain't got serious beef like that. Because, you know, other countries ain't going to fuck with him like that. I'm pretty sure his security is real light. But, um, I don't know, man. <laughs> Listen, that's why when people say today that being a rapper is the most dangerous thing these days, it's dangerous to be a rapper. It's more dangerous than ever because most of these rappers are coming from gangs. A lot of them coming from gangs. Back in the days in the 90s, you'd see some rappers come from gangs, but it wasn't as heavy like that until it got into the 2000s. And then, then, you know, you got a lot of these rappers that are bloods and crips now and shit. Some may not represent their rag too much, but, you know, they're bloods and you know that they're crips. It, it started getting bad. And then most of these gang members that are coming into the music industry they usually get taken out by either people who most likely are close to them. And it's mostly to do with money. If you ain't feeding your set or something ain't going on around with your set, the first thing they want to do is they want to promote into violence, man. And this kind of reminds me of what happened with Pop Smoke, man. Something quite similar. But you got young boys goons ready. To come meet you You got and, it, and on top of it This may not even be Young boys goons man This could be some Crazy ass fan It could be some Crazy ass NBA Young boy fan Who's who's Where you at man And try to act like He wanna NBA young boys goons I don't know if he is Or not I don't know his people Like that He may not even be NBA young boys goon He could be just Cause listen man You gotta understand NBA young boy May have hitters But I think That's on the street level to a certain degree, but I don't think he wants to take it that far because listen, anything that happens, even if a, a friend does a murder charge or your friend ends up murdering someone, they're going to try to link it back to the rapper somehow, even though you got nothing to do with it. You know, but listen, if you part of that gang, they're going to say that you part of the shit. So yeah. Maybe you did put out the hit out. Maybe you could put a hit out on somebody. This is why. Listen, man. I be telling people, man. Y'all, y'all got, y'all can't be. Listen, older people, old people, older folks that's out the game, man. Older folks that's out the game. Y'all gotta be careful for these young kids, man. These young gunners. Cause these young kids is not all about social media and talking, especially the type of crowd or the type of people NBA young boy grew up around. These motherfuckers will actually shoot you. They will get a gun and they will shoot you with no hesitation. Because that's the environment they come from. And this is why I tell people, man, it's not these artists that's going to come for you. It's usually them dudes on the payroll. I'm just saying. Because them be the motherfuckers that will kill a bitch if they're living good and their family's being taken care of. If that means taking you out, they're going to do so. <laughs> Shit's crazy. There's only three or four flights coming from Florida, nigga. There's only three or four, three or four flights. Look at this. Okay, come on now, my nigga. <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, I know there's goodies out there in this world. I did say that, and I do know that niggas on their payroll, but come on, boy. Look at this hair right now, nigga. How do you think I'm going to be terrified over a nigga? <coughs> Good God. This motherfucker got a, jo a Jolly Rancher shit. He got a Jolly Rancher, a colorful a food coloring, some sort of shit going on over here. What type of shit is this, boy? You got yourself a Jolly Rancher dreadlock, and you got yourself a vegetable jet dreadlock coming down from the side. This shit don't make no sense, man. Who the hell are you trying to scare? Motherfucker over here, man. Pussy ass nigga. This puts myself made Samuel. All right, my last name. Shout out to you, boy. This is just insane, man. This don't make no damn sense. For a long enough, like. This nigga. 709. Come on, my nigga. Really? Now, listen. I was scared at you at first. And I was like, oh, shit. Here comes NBA Young Boys Goons. And then all of a sudden, you got a Jolly Rancher looking motherfucker, man. This motherfucker got a Jolly Rancher dreadlock. Get the fuck out. What the fuck is this shit, man? Yellow and red, and you got a green. Man, come on. Nigga. Come on, man. What type of shit? Come on, man. 7.09 p.m. Get the fuck out of here. Jolly Rancho old braid. What the? This shit's retarded. Nigga claiming he on the way. Nigga, you just not around there. You capping. Nigga capping, man. Nigga know what up with us, man. Okay, this nigga don't even know how to even fucking talk, man. Get that gibberish out. See, I was scared of the nigga at first. Because I was like, oh, shit. This nigga a goon. That was, <laughs> ah, when he turned around, his whippy Goldberg looking ass. This motherfucker right here, boy, got a we green. Got niggas. He got a green piece of a dreadlock, and he got a Jolly Rancher dreadlock, yellow and red. Come on, get the fuck out of here, man. You ain't scaring nobody, nigga. Get, the, get, get your whippy Goldberg looking ass out of here, man. Come on, man. Stop it, man. You just as foolish too, man. Come on, man. This is retarded, man. Come on. Waiting. Y'all see the flights? You checking the flight? There's only three or four flights coming from Florida, nigga. There's only three or four, three or four flights. Look at this. That nigga look like he went out here to the rain, nigga. Come on, nigga. He said be fearful of flight, nigga. Fearful, nigga. Fearful, nigga. Fearful, nigga. This Jolly Rancher looking ass motherfucker. Three or four flights. Beautiful faith. Beautiful faith. What type of shit is this, man? You ain't gangster, nigga. You gangsterlicious. Bugaboo. Three or four flights. This nigga got a lollipop in his mouth. Oh, this, what the fuck? Y'all see the flag? This nigga flossing and shit. This nigga right here, boy. <laughs> this nigga flossing. And he got a green dreadlock with a Jolly Rancher one on the side. Get the fuck out of here. You checking the flight. There's only three or four flights coming from Florida, nigga. There's only three or four, three or four flights. Three or four. Three or four flights. Nigga say, three or four flights. Only three or four. Three or four flights. Nigga did that. Mm. Mm. Three flip lights. Nigga, sugar. Sugar boy. I'm gonna call you Sugar Bear. Oh, Sugar Bear ass nigga. This nigga said three or four flights. Let's hear this again. Suffering fuck attack. It's right now. You heard me? Everybody send this to Nino. This nigga got his nails done too. Look at that. Oh, oh, beauty ass looking nigga, boy. <laughs> nigga got his nails all done. Look at that, how long his nails are, man. Three or four fights. Come see me, nigga. Mm hmm. Nino, you better watch yourself, nigga. <laughs> that nigga, young boy, set them goons at you, boy. He said, the booty bandits at you, man. You better protect your ass. Protect your ass, nigga. Protect your ass. You heard me? You heard Everybody me? send this to Nino. You bitch ass nigga. Stop capping, nigga. You don't have that capping, nigga. We got niggas waiting. Y'all see the flights? You checking the flight? 
There's only three or four flights coming from Florida, nigga. There's only three or four, three or four flights. Look at this. <laughs> For a lot of that flight. This old bugaboo ass nigga, boy. <laughs> three or four flights. <laughs> nigga right here. Why you got a Jolly Rancher looking brain? Why your brain look like a Jolly Rancher? And why you got this Jack and the Beanstalk vegetable looking brain? Come on, get the fuck out of here, boy. Bring your ass over here, boy. What type of shit is this? Three or four flights. 709. Nigga claiming he on the way. Nigga, you just not around there. You capping. Nigga, Nigga look like you ready to taste that Nino Brown. Nigga, you capping. Nigga, you say you about to come pick me up, nigga. Nigga, you camping three or four flights. It's like three or four flights. You supposed to come here, nigga. You capping. Nigga, you capping. Nigga, capping, man. Nigga, know what up with us, man. This nigga know where to be found, man. This nigga's cloud chasing, man. This nigga's cloud chasing, man. Nigga know how, nigga know how we living. Here, man. Nigga, cloud chasing. Stop doing all that cloud chasing, Nino. You bitch ass nigga with them fake ass chains on. This nigga look like he sent NBA. The NBA look like he sent his boyfriend after his ass. No, you know how, nigga. I'ma send the gate man after you. After you. I'ma get you the hench leader. Bugaboo. Nigga out here look like he ready to go. Put that nigga on child support. Oh, <laughs> so so ass. Nigga over here with a Jolly Rancher looking braid. He got a man. Get the fuck out of here with this with this vegetable. Bread, 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 I'm saying bread, vegetable, braid, and shit. Motherfuckers laughing their ass off through this garbage sheet. This boy, good god, bitch ass boy, it's your old ass. You too old for that, boy. You fucking with the wrong niggas. Why you look like this, my nigga? You don't look intimidating. Bitch ass nigga, this nigga high. We got good. Now, NBA young boy look like a scary ass nigga. But this nigga right here looks scary. Like he's scary. <laughs> he's like all bugaboo. Booms on alert looking. Go ahead, game sis. For this scary ass nigga. Scary. This nigga know where to be found. I think it's a scary ass. Pussy. Yeah. This nigga pussy, pussy, pussy. This right now. This nigga pussy. Nigga say fairy ass nigga. Fairy ass nigga. Pussy, pussy, pussy. This nigga pussy. Hey y'all all see this? Hey you seen Nino? No. This nigga pussy as a bitch, man. Niggas know niggas man. First of all, this nigga was not doing this shit live. You see Nino. First of all, nigga, you sit look like you sitting down in the car. Nigga, come on. This man, come on, man. All these niggas trying to get some clout off fucking with us. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. D dog of Listen, man. At the end of the day, uh, all right, this shit is comical as fuck to me, man. Besides the whole violent part, this is the only shit that's fucked up. This, this is the, this is the only gangster shit. Let me tell you something, man. On some real shit, these are the people who I think are gangsters that will do shit. Okay, Yaya yeah, yeah. and possibly NBA Young Boy, but NBA Young Boy looked like he got his money long that he would pay somebody to do something for him. You know what I'm saying? And um, Mayweather, obviously, he's at a different entity and he's a billionaire. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, man. I can understand certain things that what NBA Youngboy was saying regarding to Mayweather needs to step in and be more like a father figure instead of just being the boxer father that's supporting her financially. I get that part. That part makes sense. But as soon as you came out there with the Draco, my nigga, that's when I turned my head around and said, come on, man. You can't be putting that type of energy out there, man. You can't be showing off the guns, but yet still you want to go after a young boy. A young boy. Okay? His name is NBA Young Boy for a reason. He young. Listen, man. He younger than you. That's when you're supposed to holler at the little youngin. You know what I'm saying? That's when you're supposed to like, yo, let me talk to you real quick, man. Let's just, just, just holler at him like a big bro. Like, even, you ain't got to be like a father figure. Don't just be like a big brother to him, man. Like, yo, what you doing? Is, it's, not, it's not cool, bro. He's like, yo, listen, what you doing is not cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
appreciate your music. I like what you put out, but you can't be doing this type of stuff here, blood. You can't be doing this type of stuff here. You know what I'm saying? It'll take some time to think about it, man. Maybe he might open up to you. Maybe he might be on that. Like, yo, let me holler at you real quick. Like, see, yeah, a person like NBA young boy, if you really want him to open up, man, it's gonna take him. So it's gonna take time, man. Cause that boy, man, the energy that I get from NBA young boy, he comes off to me as he really tough, like emotionally tough. Like he tough, bro. Like he, he it's like. He don't got no care in his world when it comes down to anything anybody got to say. Because everybody's been lying to him and talked shit about him or maybe just lied to him all his life. So that's why he say, fuck everybody and fuck the world that's in it. I'm in it for me and me only. Them type of niggas really take some time. They got to take some time to go through some life-changing experiences in order for them to change. They're not going to change because you tell them to change. They go look at you as some old head. It's the same thing with me when I when I when I was you know a lot younger. I used to look at the old heads like man, get away from me, man. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want nothing to do with y'all. But then I realized that you learn more from the old heads when you get older because you like oh shit. You get to a certain age, you be like oh shit. The old heads was was right, man. When I'm going through shit, they were they were speaking some real shit, and that's when they start to mature. But young boy got to mature, man. He he just got to mature, man. It will happen. Right now, he's just enjoying life, man. He got his money. He's got his freedom right now. He's just enjoying life, man. He just got to stay out of trouble. As far as Yaya go, Yaya went on some ultimate shit, man. She actually stabbed a bitch, man. She went crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, with her, her situation's a whole lot different. And, you know, she's definitely looking about some jail time, man. Because they not even playing, man. They not even playing with this, man. I'm going to show this to y'all one more time before I go ahead and sign off for the day. Look at this. That's her stabbing, bro. That that's what she did to uh Jacob, I think. The crime scene Floyd Miller's daughter, Yaya, who damn near killed a girl after stabbing her. I was having her over NBA Young Boy. The girl who's was stabbed is in critical condition. Like now, listen, man, this chick could die, bro. She's in critical condition. I mean she can die. Like, she might be charged for murder, bro. Like, like this attempted murder right there. You, there's no way of coming from that, man. This shit is getting too... It's just too dramatic and too crazy, man. And Mayweather's not trying to respond to anybody. Right now, he's got some serious, serious problems on his hands now. I don't know how the hell he's gonna get out of this, but now it just shows, man. He's gotta look at himself like, man, did I raise my daughter the right way or did I raise her to be spoiled? Because we both got money. But see, here's the thing, Mayweather... Mayweather have failed to realize is that Mayweather had to grind and had to work hard for his achievements. His kids didn't have to do that. So they don't know how it is to genuinely, genuinely, gen generally, I'm sorry, generally, I'm trying to say the right words, generally appreciate things because they're spoiled. You know what I mean? And especially this young girl, this girl is spoiled. She's got everything she's wanted. Uh, well, my daddy will buy everything's her daddy. My daddy take care of me. My daddy got me money. I got money anyway. She's going on Instagram, flashing that shit. I got my next flashing her money. Everybody like, yeah, that's her daddy money. <laughs> that's her daddy money giving it to her. But of course that bothers her. But she's got her own thing too. She's doing with her music, which she was doing pretty well with. And then all of a sudden she 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 hit a bump, man. She she fucking up with a dude that it, that doesn't even give a fuck about her. And then this, this shit happens, man. It's crazy. Now she's caught herself in a charge where it, it, it could be, they got her for aggravated assault. And she's lucky on that because it could, you know, she dies as is hope to God that she don't because she's in critical condition. I mean, it doesn't mean she's, she's at critical death, but she did critical condition means there's a chance that you can die, you know, but, um, this could be charged as attempted murder. I gotta mute this shit because uh YouTube guidelines, man, and they gonna get me for the for the uh for the music and stuff. I'm just gonna let this play, let this ride. TMZ reported, uh yeah. Okay, so he got he got three kids. Okay, I apologize. He got two sons. Now, if you look at the sons right here, I don't know I don't know them. I don't know their personalities, man. I don't know them personalities too well, but 
they look like they either look like their faces, right? It's just it's just their aura, man. They look like they built for success, man. Like they doing something behind the scenes with music or money. They they they're establishing their own thing, man. But even though they got their daddy's money they're living off of, but it just seems like these two are doing their own they they either they either working on some business together or they're doing something with music or but they're doing something behind the scenes. I don't know them too well, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't follow up on the Mayweathers. But that's just the type of vibes I'm getting, man. Like an energy, like a vibe thing going on. It seems like these two look more like their moms. But they also got that Mayweather face. I could I could kind of see it a little bit. But it looked like he kind of looked like like his features look like his father's features. More like his father, but he could also represent you know, resemble his mom. You know what I mean? Because you could kind of see the features on here. She looks like she's got her father's head shape. They them two got the mother. She could she definitely got that round head. You see that round head? Yeah, yeah. And you see his round head? Yeah, that's definitely her father's head. She got she got her father's head. Yeah, and maybe her lips too, because he she got big lips. He got big lips too. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's about it. But listen, man. It just seems to me that, you know. Maybe the brothers have made I don't know if the brothers Cause listen man I, I, I grew up as a Oldest child So I didn't have anybody To look up to You know as a sibling You know as, as an older sibling So I had to learn From my mistakes Whatever I did You know These guys are brothers And they got each other You know You would think You know Her raising up with brothers She would come out A lot differently Instead of chasing After the wrong type of men And these guys Don't look like They're hood niggas you know, they don't look like they're hood niggas or that she would grow up of, you know, being with those type of the type of dudes. Because an NBA young boy is a different type of entity. But who really knows if she still had feelings for him or maybe he had said something that triggered her to do something out of domestic, well, well not domestic violence, but out of an assault. Because, you know, it wasn't towards him, but maybe... She was doing something to get back at her for maybe something she said. I don't know. I don't I don't live up on these people's lives, man. That's just the vibes I'm getting, man. Maybe if y'all follow them, y'all could let me know more about them. Because I'm sorry. I apologize. But I don't follow celebrities like this. But I'm just talking about the situation that happened and matter. The shit is kind of crazy, man. It's crazy, man. 1.30 a.m. And what the hell they doing out so late? Ain't they, ain't they like a, a curfew or some shit? Don't y'all gotta be quarantining? What, what the fuck? Yeah, when do y'all get special rights to not quarantine? That's why I don't understand with this shit. This shit don't even... This, some of this stuff don't even make no sense, man. Like, aren't y'all supposed to be quarantining and stuff? What the hell y'all doing out so late? Shit don't make no sense. 1.30 a.m., man. That's past curfew time. Held in Houston. Harris County Jail awaiting bail. She waited bail. Oh, you know she got out the very next day. Wow. Now, you mean to tell me out of all... These young little teeny boppers, because you know she's young. She was like really, really young. She looked really young right there. She was like probably a little kid. Or maybe is she the same age? I don't know. I'm I, some pictures she look older and some she look real young, but she look like a baby, man. She's fucking young as shit. You mean tell me out of all these look, look that that's Diddy's son and shit. She would have been better off with Diddy's son. Like dating somebody like Diddy's son would be like more like in your class in a way so i can understand where nino brown is coming from because you know since she's brought up with mayweather and you would think that you know she you know mayweather doesn't have a gangster thug background to him he just came from the streets but he never showed the streets he showed his hustle and his hard work so i can understand that from that perspective that you would expect your kids to come out just like your father because they were raised mostly with their dad. I mean, sometimes their mom was around, but majority of the time, their dad was taking care of them. Obviously, he's the one that got the money. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, he go get custody of them kids. He got money. And some people say, well, how come these regular guys can't get custody of their kids? Because they don't got money. Most regular niggas ain't got money like that to support. So, the first thing the system is seeing, oh, okay, let's give the kids all to the baby moms because she's a fit mother. Because they only looking at it from the nurturing side. But when you got politics involved with people who have money, it's a little bit different. You're talking about a person named Floyd Money Mayweather. And you're talking about some regular 
come up model bitch, you know what I'm saying, or some regular Instagram thotty that he messing with, and he got pregnant, you think they give a fuck about that model chick, oh, she's a chick who's a pretty little girl, and she does, you know, booty shop pictures and stuff, and she got a little bit of a bag, she can take care of the kids, no, in this situation, when it comes down to celebrities, and they see another, you know, woman who has money or whatever, automatically, they gotta go for the guy who has the money, or whoever has the money, even if it's a woman or a man, if it's a celebrity, he's got a lot of hold, of course Mayweather's gonna have custody of them kids, come on, man, but a person like this guy, like, what's his name, uh, King Combs or something, isn't that his name, King Combs, Sean Puffy Combs' is, uh, son, I don't know, I can't keep track of these kids, but I'm saying, like, listen, you would expect a girl like that to be with Diddy's son in that, in that, you know, black, rich, uh, family, you know what I mean, because Diddy's a billionaire, that's his son, I believe that's his son, if I'm not mistaken, is that his son, or am I mistaken, man, am I fucking up, because it looks like that's Diddy's son, but let's just say Diddy's son, let's just put a Diddy's son, I, I'm thinking that's him, I'm thinking that's a dude, he looks like him, but let's just say that, that's Diddy's son, right, forgive me if I'm wrong, I know I fuck up sometimes, but let's just say that's Diddy's son, which I'm pretty sure it is, but, you would expect for her a billionaire princess to be with a billionaire prince. Keep that in orchestrated. So that is what you expect. But as a father, you, would, you wouldn't expect for her to be with a guy like NBA Youngboy. But she sees a person. I guess he sees a person like NBA Youngboy having money. And he's a celebrity. So he's thinking, ah, okay, well, I don't think he's going to. He, he ain't really in that mess like that. He out there trying to get money. And as long as he's, he's cool with the fam, I'm cool with him, they good, but no, man, he got a bad pass, Mayweather, that's when you gotta, you gotta step in, man, I'm just saying, shit is wild, man, I do believe on that when Nino Brown did, did say that, when Nino Brown said that, man, I was like, yep, yeah, I agree with that, he do need to step in, Two women began arguing and ended up in the kitchen, and Ayana got a possession of two knives, according to the sources. Ayana, if I'm pronouncing that name right, charged at Jacobs with one of the knives. Jacob told police that she didn't feel the first stab wound, but damn, stabbed her once more. Damn. Jacob was on the floor when EMTs arrived and was transferred to the hospital. There is no word yet on her condition. Good God, man. Yo, if this chick ends up dying, bro, this shit is not gonna look good. Young boy was seen being placed in handcuffs, but that was most likely right, yeah, precautionary measures and all that. Yeah, okay, so they ain't say he had anything to do with it because, listen, listen, right now, man, NBA young boy, I don't listen to his music, but obviously the man is changing, man. But he's got a bad pass. He's done a lot of people dirty, man. He's done a lot of dirt, and he's trying to find his way up in this world as a man. I, I get it. And eventually, once the money and success and the opportunities start coming, he's going to change, bro. He's going to change, and then he's going to start thinking business-like because he's going to be out of that environment. You, you get what I'm saying? NBA Youngboy, you created a way out of this environment. Out of this, out of this hood mentality, out of this environment to where you can grow and become a man. And then you can see the mistakes that you made and, and, and do things right, man. Don't fuck this up, man. Because this right here could be so fucked up to where all two of them go down. And if that person ends up dying, I don't even know the condition of this woman. So I'm just reporting on this shit right now. But if that woman dies, this shit is going to be a domino effect. This shit is going to be crazy. This is going to be insane. Wow. Does anybody know the condition, man? <sighs> Shit is crazy, folks, man. But I don't know. Anyways, folks. I'm going to leave y'all all with this one, man. Y'all be safe out there, man. Stay quarantined, man. Don't do anything crazy out there, you know. Anyways, I'm out.
always got my face on it. I can never seem to get it off. Bang. 